For instance, when I call them up, I have three of their pieces. I bought three of their minis. I think I showed them to you. It's not, I'll run them off the camera over there real quick just to show you again. But, um, to them about the mini milling machine that I bought from them that wasn't super expensive compared to milling machines but it wasn't cheap either it's the uh, M something 70 whatever I'll show it to you in a minute so uh, when I was talking to her about it I said, in the catalog, it shows that they have servos. Well, here, let me show you what I'm talking about. Don't mind the mess over here. Okay, this is the mini uh, mill. It's an MF-70. And that's what the company is, MF. So when I bought this, the tray I put there on my own, that's just a cooking tray, um, I had asked them if they had servos. The servo goes here, so you can hook up a computer program, and these will turn all motorized, driven, with the servo. So you can just put in your, your dimensions, your measurements, or whatever, put the pot, boom, and it's done. Shows it in their catalog. All right, now here's their mini chop saw. I mean, it's quality material. I mean, it really is the good stuff. Now, they make two mini table saws, if that's what you want to call it. This one, and then they make one size up that does, uh, it'll can't, so you can, you know, do angles with it. Uh, this one you really can't, but uh, the other one you can. You can cant or you can't cant, but you know what I mean. Uh, this one was less than 200, I think, and the other one is like 300 or something. Again, I don't remember. So I bought these three pieces, and when I bought them, I said to her, I'd like to get the order to servos. She goes, well, we haven't got them in right now. Okay. But it wasn't a conversation. Oh, we don't have them in right now. Do you know? No, they're not here right now. Well, do you have, no, we have no idea when. Yeah, in other words, give me the order and, and leave me alone. That's the attitude I got from them. Now, they do have a YouTube channel that they use, but the comments are all turned off. So nobody can leave a comment, because if they did, they're going to tell you just how bad these people are as, as a business. Unfortunately, you got to go through them if you want it. Now, they have a mini bandsaw that I like to get. But I don't know if I want to deal with them or not, for one. Two is, I got to figure out my budget here. So what I'm doing is, because that's where I started this originally. I know, guys, I'm going to confuse you, but uh, my mind is drifting today. Today? <laughs> um, I'm going to turn my finances over to my wife for a couple of months. <laughs> So, um, because for some reason, I just can't seem to get a grip on anything. I always seem to where I say, oh, great, I got an extra 400, or I got an extra 500. And then by the time I'm done, I got an extra $1. You know, I say, this ain't right. What am I doing here? You know, so um, I got to turn it over to the wife for a few months because, again, I don't want to just start spending money and buying the the uh, new mini uh, bandsaw and a lathe and that's going to probably cost I'm thinking probably you guys would know more you guys that have them um, I want it for wood I don't want it for metal but I'm thinking about 500 bucks in that neighborhood give or take 
And then, what does it come with? Does it come with everything that I'm going to need? Now, never using one, I don't know what I'm going to need or not need. You follow me? I mean, I know I need the basics. I need the tools. You know, I need it to hold. You know, the wood. But is that all that I need to worry about? That is what I'm not sure about. All right, now, back to this thing. Now that that's done, I gotta get a U-clamp to fit the pole. Now, do I wanna use one of these? I think I gotta put one in here someplace, I do. nice right now if I had some if I had some pipe strapping and I keep saying I'm gonna buy a roll and I never do. Uh, let's see what I got in here. I have tons of new bolts but oh wait a minute maybe I do. No. I was gonna say do I have one heavy enough or big enough ready? Doesn't look like I do. Now, I thought I did. I thought I bought. If I did, where the fuck did I put it? Because it should have been in here. For all these other ones. Now, here's a hook. In here, the hook that it belonged to. Body hammer. <laughs> yeah, why not use all my hammers today? None of them are in which of what I'm supposed to be doing what I'm doing with. Put a little dent there. I got a uh, Black and Decker over there that I can't use. I think it's a piece of shit. Right after, well not right after, but shortly after I bought it. And I don't beat my
my tools. I use them. I use them. You know, but you don't see me using a drill with a hammer or things like that. But the Black and Decker, the, one of the batteries went bad. About four or five months in, they didn't want to know nothing about it. I have one battery. And then shortly after that, the charger went. And again, they didn't want to know nothing about it. And I'm not talking a lot of time here. You know, I'm talking, well, I can say less than a year, but actual usage, I mean, I used it maybe, I, a lot of people say this, but as far as the actual usage goes, I mean, I used it maybe 15 minutes a week, if that, because I use the other ones as much. Uh, the battery went, the charger went, they didn't want to know nothing. And I'm not going to spend $200 for another battery and charger. I said, screw it. You're sitting over there under the counter. I did rig a charger to charge the other battery. I used a Yobi charger. And I rigged it to fit the only battery that I had left for the, uh, the walk. But uh, again, total waste. Now everything has its good and bad. For instance, rigid. I really haven't found anything good with rigid, except for I do have one of their little routers. Uh, I have their uh, sawzall. Wave keeps popping out of it, uh, and it's been happening. Regardless of what brand blade or what blade I'm using or whatever, the blades just pop out. It's got that little twist lock, and for some reason it's vibrating, and that twist lock, I guess, comes unlocked or whatever, and the next thing you know, your blade is stuck in whatever it is you're cutting. Uh, their drills, I had a problem with their batteries. It was all getting all oily. I take it back, talk to the rep. That went on for a couple of weeks. Finally, I said, screw it. I'm not dealing with it. He didn't want to take care of the problem at Home Depot. The rep was there. He was there every Monday. He didn't want to take care of the problem. He says, well, you got to call the company. He called the company. The company says, what number do you have? I give them the number. They will ask for it. Well, that's not the number. That's the number on the box. That's the SKU number on the box. That's your number. Your, uh, your, not the SKU, but your, uh, your so-called serial code or SKU number. Yeah. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, what the? Now, I ain't got time to deal with you people. This is crazy. I took it back to Home Depot and said, I don't want it. And I just gave it back to them, got a credit, and that was it. I'm done with them. So, uh, but I mean, that's just, you know, so rigid, I don't care for. Uh, Ryobi? Depending. Their drills, their blue ones especially, uh, were nonstop. I never had a problem with one of their drills. And if the batteries went bad or the charger went bad, you go down and you buy a whole new drill set with the battery and charger for the same amount of money that you can buy the battery and charger for. So it was cheaper just to, to buy the Ryobis because they work. However, I had a problem with their bandsaw and they didn't want to know nothing. They said, oh, we don't make that one anymore. We don't service that one anymore. Oh well, yeah, it's still under warranty, but we don't deal with it anymore. And it was under warranty still. It was only a few months old. I said, what are you talking about? I did a video on it. I said, what are you talking about? Well, send it back to us. Wait a minute. You know what it's going to cost me to send back a, a, a bandsaw? I mean, they're not white. You know, I said, just send me the part under warranty. Well, we can't do that. We've got to send it the part, the, the piece. Wasn't worth it. All it needed 
was those little guiders, those little guide wheels. One of the, uh, the, the cast broke, so I couldn't adjust it. All right, so here's where we're at. This, 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 and that. That. Now what I need to do here is I got to get over that. So, so, because as you may or may not see, there's a wire right